Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. I was speaking with someone today about investment real estate and purchasing an investment property. Um, you know, if you're going about doing this and you're thinking about buying an investment property, a rental property, whatever it may be, there are several things that you need to think about and several questions you need to ask yourself, not just let me go out there and find the best value I can find. Of course that's important, but there's things you need to think of like maintenance. You know, if you purchase a condo or a townhouse, you may have homeowner dues, but there's probably no maintenance. There's probably not going to be, there's probably a master's insurance policy and they probably take care of the trash and the yard and the external, you know, siding or whatever. So you, it's very low maintenance. You're just going to be collecting your rent check and, and, and only having interior maintenance. Uh, on a house, you know, you're not going to have the homeowner's dues, but you're going to have to take care of the maintenance if the tenants aren't. Um, that's one thing to think about. Another thing to think about is, you know, is it most important for you to maximize the cash flow now? or um, have a greater possibility for appreciation, you know, 10 years down the road when you would go to sell it or whatever. So what I mean by that is, you know, yes, nobody has a crystal ball, and so we don't know that one property is going to appreciate more than the other, but sometimes you can tell looking at properties, you know, that one has a better chance of appreciating more than the other, but it might not cash flow as well. So is that the risk that you're willing to take? So you need to think about that. Um, you need to think about the type of um, renters that you're catering to, the, the type of people that are going to be living there. Um, is it uh, a location that's um, going to be open to many different types of people running, running, or is it just college students where you're going to have a smaller pool of potential renters? So there's there's different specific questions like that that a lot of times people don't necessarily think about right out of the gate when they're looking to buy an investment property. They're just looking for you know the best deal, the lowest price out there, and the most expensive neighborhood or whatever. But these are questions, and there are more that you need to talk to a trusted real estate agent about before purchasing that investment property because there are many other things that you need to consider um, rather than, other than just you know price right out, right out of the gate. So anyways, these are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at Jessica Edwards at seacoastrealty.com. Thanks so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.